Okay, loves, here we are. We are back. So we've already gone through what you're going to need to pivot the darts. And I already told you what pattern I would be using for a demonstration. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is actually take your pattern that you have and you want to trace it out with your tracing wheel. Okay, so go ahead and trace that out all the way around. Make sure you trace out your dart, which is really important. And mark your little notches, your waistline, and any other markings on the pattern that are important to the pattern. Okay, then go ahead and remove the commercial piece and then what you're going to have is your actual pattern here okay and you'll see a lot of markings here on this paper all right so the thing is you can move a dart anywhere you want to really okay on the actual pattern so anywhere you want to move it you can move it if you don't like where it, where it is you can go ahead and move that to a different area that you like okay so it's really really simple what you see here is the original dart line that I have here okay and then you see a bunch of dotted lines a bunch of little dotted lines okay the reason I have the dotted lines is I'm showing you other places you can actually move the dart to okay this gold line this line you have here when I did the top with the Pharisee that you see online and across social media um, using McCall's 7542 you remember I had this part of the um, bodice separated and then I flared this out okay and so what I did was I actually pivoted the dart down to the waist down here and then I cut another piece slash and spread that was basically it but what I'm going to show you is the actual method for um, pivoting darts okay that I remember and recall and so what you want to do is let me stop really quick go back um, actually these dotted lines are places so you can move your dart from this um, side bust dart you can move it to the center if you want it you can move it to the neckline if you want it you can take it to the shoulder seam if you want it you can also move it to the armhole if you chose you can move it center front and you can move it to the waist you can move it further down it's up you can move it wherever you want as I said and so these dotted lines I'm just showing you I'm gonna cut on those lines and I'm gonna show you how you would do that and how you would pivot that so the first thing I do is is on the point of the dart draw your dotted lines to where you want that act the excess from here so the excess is going to be this part right here where do you want to move this part of the dart which is the excess that fits to the body where do you want that to go okay so what you're going to do is I actually I cut on the actual leg of the dart okay so you can cut and go to the point of the dart, but don't go through. Okay? Don't go through it. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to move that there. Then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to cut on this dotted line. Go all the way up to that same point okay but not again not cutting all the way through just coming to that point but careful not to cut through again okay so now you see there's a separation here and there's a separation here why do you ask because in order to close this and pivot it what you're doing is now taking this and you're moving it here okay and you see how that just covered that up right there that's what you're doing you're closing that up okay and so what has what's happened now is you have moved all of that to this area here which is great because I wanted it to flutter and flare anyway okay so that's why you can easily see now the the excess that was here now goes here and you say wow well, that seems like a lot more well you're right it, it is because you had to bring this point up to meet this point otherwise how would you pivot that out so yes it's going to look like it's more because you're opening up this space more because you had a lot further to go 
as far as uh, removing the um, excess from one point to another because you're going from the side of the bust area and you're going down to the waist area okay so that's you know a nice little ways to go to move down here okay so as you can see easily I pivoted that out and I was good so then at that point what I did was just cut this line out here this is my top portion of my bodice and I just moved it out the way. And so then I have this piece right here and from there it makes it really easy to slash and spread. I had another piece of blue dot paper underneath but I, I wanted to make sure that you could see which is why I have my cardboard here. And it's easy to um, do a tracing wheel on a piece of cardboard. Okay, so that's another reason why I have that. So on McCall 7542, what I did at that point was just my style line where I wanted it. Initially, my style line, as I stated, was up here, right under the arm hole. So I went down just about that much and did it here. And then I realized, you know what, if I do this again, I probably won't put it up that high. I would probably move it down here, right above. And people say, well, that's awfully close to the dart. Well, it doesn't matter. I could go right on the actual dart line if I want it to, um, it's up to me. It, it wouldn't matter because remember, I'm moving that excess. That dart is not going to be here anymore. It's not going to exist. So it wouldn't matter how close I got to that because I have removed this style line that would be created here by this dart because I have pivoted it from this area down to the waist area. Okay? So if I wanted to pivot it somewhere else, I would simply close this back up and get back to the original part put my little weight there all right say I wanted to move it here okay so I would go ahead and cut this is kind of awkward kind of way to do it now I'm remembering I'm not going through because I already have a line there so I'm going to be really really careful not to go through okay so then again what am I doing I am closing this area here so I'm closing the pivot that I have here, the dart I have here, I'm closing this, okay? I am also closing this back because I'm not moving it to the waist. Where am I moving it? I'm moving it to my front area here. So if I wanted to create a dart in the middle, you could do that. Why? Someone would want to, it happens and people do do it. I'm not too fond of it. You could also make it a gather um, there if you chose to on the center front, but just to show you can pretty much manipulate it and move it anywhere okay and taking this back around here okay so it's kind of like now I'm creating puzzle pieces right that's kind of what's happening here okay and another way if I wanted to move it to the um, armhole I could just cut a line here and I'm moving or say I want to create that dart up here and move it to the shoulder I can do that so another way would be to go here okay and then I would close this again closing here and as you can see I have now added a dart to my armhole okay so now the dart is here on my armhole alright so as you can see Pretty much anywhere you want to pivot, you can pivot. You simply need to make sure that your dart line and your dotted lines lead to the point of your original dart. Okay, go ahead and close this back up a little bit. All right, there we go. So the point is to make sure that your, wherever you want to manipulate to, you draw that dotted line to the point of the original dart, okay? And don't go through I can't stress it if you do you can put a little piece of tape there but it just makes it a little you know a bit more tricky and sticky um, but anywhere you want to draw those dart lines dotted lines too wherever you want to manipulate that dart you can go another fun one that I like personally is the neck so if I wanted to move this um, to the neck I could do that as well I'm not a big fan of the shoulder dart I do it when you need to but you know um, if I had my choice, I would rather do something a little bit more funky. So, to me, I, I definitely wouldn't put it in the arm, um, but, you know, that's up to you. It's your, it's your 
design, whatever you want to do, you can put it wherever you want to. Okay, but anyway, if I wanted to, I would can move that now to the neck. As you see, now I have added that excess to the neck area. Okay, go ahead and stick this here. So now, here at my neck area here is where my dart would be. So I'd have a style line going from the neck down. All right, so again. This is what you're doing. You're simply drawing your dotted lines wherever you want the dart to be manipulated to. Wherever you want that dart to go, that's where it's going to go. Okay? And if I go ahead and close all of the puzzle pieces back up again, you would then see my original dart, which is right there. Bring this around a little bit. And the puzzle pieces all fit back together. Just sit my scissors there. <laughs> Okay, so this is what you would do, and that is how you pivot a dart, okay? And you would do the same for a back bodice. You could pivot it the way you want to. Now, just be aware that in your back bodice, it's a lot longer, okay? Your back is longer so and flatter uh, than your front, okay? So let's go ahead and move these out the way. I'm going to move these puzzle pieces out the way. All right, and this one um, I did separate, not intentionally. I cut a little bit too far through. So you can see my original style line would have been here, okay? And my dart was closed, uh, was not sewn yet. So here, and everything is closed here. So here's my puzzle pieces for the back. Now, my dart line would have been, dotted line would have been right down here, all the way down. Right here is the point of my dart, right here. So my point of my dart ended right here, okay? So where I have that dotted line, that's where the point of my dart ended, all right? And so then I would have to draw my dotted line all the way down the paper, okay, here to meet and stop there. And then my bottom would do the same thing. I would have a dotted line going all the way down the paper and then I would cut on that dotted line okay and so then what I would do is what same thing you do in the front you just close the dart okay you close that and it's got to go somewhere otherwise you're causing tension to the garment so where does it go well it's going to go down to the waist because that's where I cut my line. I cut my line in the waist. So as you can see, you have completely changed the design of this bodice, okay? And you have added this here. Now if I cut my style line here, right here, along this black area here, you would notice that at the top bodice, I'm adding about, what, a quarter inch? Oh, mm, yeah, right at about a quarter inch ease, about, about right there. Um, I'm adding about that much ease to the top of the bodice uh, here, and then the rest is going to the waist. Now, for me, on the design that I did for McCall 7542, because the dart is so small, I just simply cl closed it um, and pinned it really good on my pattern. And um, from there, I just cut my style line. So I made this here. The dart was just so small that I really didn't have to do anything. And as you can see, I have no ease in here now. Okay, so close that. My dart is being closed here. I just folded it closed. And I just made my little slit line up to here to ease the tension. Okay, so I eased the tension in the garment. Now, see, when you separate it accidentally, you get that kind of little funky stuff going on. All right, there you go. So now you can see I have closed the ease that was there all right and I've also closed the dart and I minimized how much I had added here so that when I cut here this little part right here not gonna make a difference probably good even if I had just a tiny bit more there it would still be fine because what I'm doing I use taffeta okay so this little part right here I use since I was using taffeta I was uh, happy to have a little bit more uh, ease in this area here and I could still cut on my style line the next time I want to do it this top I'm going to bring my style line down so I would probably start my style line there 
coming across here, which means that then I'm going to have this much more ease here if I pivot that dart out to the waist. Okay, so um, which is also fine because this is for me, I like to be comfortable across my back area and going into my underarm. I don't like when I feel like it's pulling or preventing me from moving my arms, you know, this way uh, to the front. I don't like that. So having a little bit more ease for me was fine. Um, is it going to change your, your, the integrity of the pattern? No, it shouldn't change the integrity of the pattern. You're simply manipulating where you want the, the excess that you had in the dart to be moved to. Okay? So, um, if you needed to take in a little bit more seam allowance across the center back, you could also do that too. So, um, I hope that makes sense. It's really, really simple. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put up some little printable um, bodice cutouts where you could just kind of practice and play around with it until you get comfortable. You could also get some blue dot paper, construction paper, any kind of paper you got around the house, newspaper even. And just kind of play around with it and see, do you um, like what you're doing, what it's going to look like before you cut it on your fashion fabric. So... Again, loves, that is it. We did it. You have actually learned how to pivot darts and move and manipulate the excess away from one area to another area. Thanks for tuning in, and I will catch you on the next video.